Hi, I'm Shelley from Bootcamp Ireland and one of the questions we often get asked is how do you track your progress um, during bootcamp? And uh, one of the best ways uh, to track progress and also to track uh, whether you're toning and losing weight is to take measurements of yourself, okay? And um, sometimes the weighing scales can um, maybe not change as much as you'd like them to. You know, you might lose a pound of fat but you gain a pound of muscle so you're actually the same weight and that can be disheartening when you see that. So that's why we get one of these soft measuring tapes out and we ask our members to measure themselves. So what I do is um, do the left hand side, so the left arm, the waist, the hips and then the left leg, okay? Um, you can do your right hand side if you prefer. I prefer my left side because it's a little bit easier to do it when you're trying to do it by yourself. Okay, so on the left arm, what you're trying to do is uh, measure the widest part of the arm. Um, and if you just place it around there. And what you're trying to do is go midway between the shoulder and the elbow, okay? And we get a measurement there of 11 inches. So again, it's just halfway between your shoulder and your elbow, and you're just going around the width of your bicep. Now, if you have someone who's there on hand, you can measure it for you, that's obviously a lot easier. But if you're by yourself, that's the way to do it, okay? Just tuck it in under your arm, hold it around, and then you can get your measurement there, okay? So the next one is your waist. So you just locate your belly button and we're going to put the measuring tape just above the belly button um, and measure there. So that's 28 there. Great. <laughs> um, but just above the belly button, bring it around and just get the measurement. Then what we're looking for is the hip. Okay. We're going to measure. This is the widest part of your body because it contains the junk and the trunk, but it's the top of your leg. So going from your knee up to your, your hip, you'll see a big bone you can feel here and then just at the top there it feels hard um, and that's the widest part of the body okay so we measure that there and that measures in at 38 inches okay um, and then the left leg so again what I'm going to do is go halfway between the hip and the knee somewhere around here if you have a pair of running trousers or if you have a birthmark or a mole or something like that something so that the next time you measure it you're getting the exact same point again Okay, so you'll go here, so, sorry. So that's 19 inches. So if I have a freckle or something like that there, now you can go slightly up or slightly down and you might get a difference of a half an inch or an inch. So really try and get the exact same place that you have um, done it the first time. And what we recommend is that you do it again in six weeks time and then you'll be able to see what progress you're making. So even if the, child, the, the scales doesn't change, your measurements will change, okay? And it's a really good way to keep you motivated, to um, see where you're at. You don't know where you're going till you know where you're starting. So uh, I hope that helps anyway. And uh, you can download a form below this uh, video, which um, lets you fill out your details. You fill in your weight, uh, the four measurements we took there, and uh, you, ha you have your start date for those, and then you have your date again in six weeks time. Okay, thanks a million guys, and let me know how you got on. Cheers.